Hello you guys, today I'll be making a dandelion juice and I'm going to show you how it's made and the parts that I use and the parts that I don't use. So what I have here is the dandelion. I have the entire dandelion and the root. So I have had it soaking in water and salt and vinegar to kill the bugs. It's been a good, say, hour. You don't have to let it soak that long, but I did. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off each of the leaves and I'm going to put it in my juicer. I also go back over the roots in water to get all of the excess dirt that's still there. And I'm going to show you how I make a dandelion juice and what it comes out looking like. So I broke off the roots and I... Wiped it off with water and I'm about to put it back into some more water and rub it off, rub off the excess dirt and stuff like that. And I'll show you what I do. It's already started. I had started my video late. But I have a pot over here with water that I dump and refill after so many dips. And... I get it and I put it in my juicer and it comes out, of course, but don't go through. I try to push it down a little bit and the juice is actually dark green and I'm making some dandelion roots and dandelion juice. So it's all going to be into one and I'm only using the leaves, the dandelion and the root. Do not use the stem at all. So I pull off each piece and drop it into the other part of the water. I don't take the brown pieces, but that's what I'm doing and when I get done, I'll come back. This is all I got from the dandelion bunch. It smells pretty sweet. It smells bitter at all. But I'm about to make some dandelion shots. 